Google just released their most capable and advanced AI model, Gemini Ultra 1.0. It surpasses GPT-4 on 30 out of 32 benchmark tests. And all across the internet, I'm seeing that this could be the chat GPT killer. But at the end of the day, is it actually more helpful than GPT-4? That's what we'll uncover in this video. That way we can settle this once and for all. We'll put them side by side and compare their various features and put them to the test in everyday use cases, such as text, image, and code generation, and PDF analysis and image interpretation as well. Everything is timestamped, so feel free to jump around. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Let's dive in. The first thing you should know is that Google's chatbot Bard no longer exists. It's been completely rebranded as Gemini. And if you try going to Bard, it'll just redirect you to Gemini, which by the way, can be accessed at gemini.google.com. There are two different plans. The first is their free plan, which is powered by Gemini Pro. And if you'd like to get access to their most advanced model, Gemini Ultra, that will be under their Gemini Advanced plan, which starts at $19.99 per month. And currently you can get two months for free of Gemini Advanced, so it's a good time to try it out. Just for reference, ChatGPT Plus, which is powered by OpenAI's most capable model, GPT-4, that's an even $20 per month. So basically the same price there. You'll also get access to Gemini and Gmail docs and a few more apps that are coming soon, plus two terabytes of cloud storage and other benefits from Google One when you're on the Gemini advanced plan. But let's go and put them side by side and put them to the test. We'll start off with image generation as I know that's one of the most popular features with a lot of people. So I'm just gonna type in, please generate an image of a chef for my blog. And then I'm going to copy that and paste it into ChatGPT as well. Now I will say right off the bat, Gemini is obviously much faster than ChatGPT. And also with Gemini, it generates four images at a time versus ChatGPT, which only generates one at a time. So the ChatGPT image just finished generating, uh, but let's go and check out the Gemini images. And these are actually pretty good. I will say that I am actually impressed with Gemini right now. After testing this over the past couple of days, I was leaning towards ChatGPT as far as image generation. And I don't know if Google is making updates to Gemini in real time from user feedback, but over the past couple of days, I was having some issues uh, getting Gemini to generate quite a few images. I kept saying that it was against their guidelines and policies and things like that when it'd be a very simple image. But let's go and keep testing it out and see what else we can come up with. I'm gonna have it generate an image of a logo now. I'm type in, please generate an image of a logo for my web design agency. Okay, and again, obviously you can tell that Gemini is much faster. Uh, the chat GPT image is only halfway finished being generated. And I think these are some really cool logos over here. Obviously you can always go much more into detail with your prompts to get exactly what you're wanting, but just by testing them out right here, I will say that I, again, I'm impressed with Gemini. It's doing really well right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it one additional test. Yesterday, it wouldn't generate this image, but we'll try it out now. Let's see, please generate an image of a police officer. For some reason yesterday, it would not generate that image. Okay, and it actually generated images of police officers. Like I mentioned yesterday, it wouldn't do that. And these are pretty good. It's actually showing their faces. It's good quality, I, I will admit that. ChatGPT over here, it only generated the image of the body. It didn't show an image of a face. Let's see, I'm gonna actually try ChatGPT and see if I can get it to generate an image of a face. Generate a close up image of a police officer. Now ChatGPT generated an image of a face. That just goes to show how being more detailed with your prompts can really help you to get the exact results that you're wanting. But all in all, you know, I will give the winner to Gemini in this case, as far as image generation. Yesterday, I would not have said that. It just goes to show you how fast this technology is being updated and how fast it's changing. Uh, you know, it wouldn't generate these images yesterday, but now it is. So as far as today, I will give Gemini the winner as far as image generation. Let's go ahead and move on to text generation. We'll start off by having them generate a cover letter. So this prompt right here says, my name is Connor. I recently graduated from college with a computer science degree 
and I'm eager to start my career as a software engineer. Please write the optimal cover letter to help me land my first job. The cover letter should be written in a way that tells the hiring manager exactly what they want to hear to be considered as the ideal candidate. I'll go ahead and submit that and do the same for chat GPT as well. And I'm not gonna read through all of this, but I'll just kind of skim through it. Over here on Gemini, it's giving me some areas to input my information and to fill in the information of the hiring manager and the company. Then it goes on to say, as a recent computer science graduate from Input University name, I was excited to find your opening for a junior software engineer position. With a strong academic foundation and a passion for problem solving through code, I'm eager to begin my career and contribute my skills to company name. From my experience, it's not always best to be saying how eager you are. You want to be talking more about what you've done and your experience and your projects, but let's just go ahead and continue on. During my studies, I gained hands-on experience in programming languages uh, most relevant to the company. And I'm particularly drawn to uh, company name because of input two to three reasons specific to the company, your company's specific te technologies and methodologies. I'm a detail-oriented collaborative team player dedicated to creating clean, efficient code. I thrive in dynamic environments and welcome the opportunity to learn and to learn from experienced professionals. Okay, uh, thank you for considering my application. I look forward to discussing how I can contribute to company's name. All right, so that's not bad at all. And I really do like how it uh, gives the areas for me to input uh, my personal experience, the actual details of the company, and the exact reasons why I'm interested in that company. All right, let's go and check out the chat GPT uh, version over here. Again, there's these areas where we can input our information and the company information. I'm writing to express my enthusiasm for the software engineer position listed on where you found the job listing. And as a recent computer science graduate from your university, I'm eager to bring a blend of academic achievements, technical skills, and passion for technology to your innovative team. And it goes on to say, I'm particularly drawn to company name because of your commitment to mention something you admire about the company. Again, I really like that, how it's, it's tell me where I need to put in my, my, you know, personal thoughts and opinions uh, to, to really personalize the cover letter. I, I like that a lot. One of my key projects at university involved, uh, then briefly describe a significant project, and I'm eager to bring my skills uh, in, <laughs> list a few key skills relevant to the job, such as programming language is, et cetera. All right, thank you for considering my application. I am looking forward to the opportunity to discuss how my education skills and aspirations align with the goals of company name. I'm available for an interview at your earliest convenience and can be reached at your phone number. All right, so honestly, I'll say both of these are really similar. They both kind of sound and feel the same. So right off the bat, you know, I'll say that as far as the cover letter goes, the, these are a tie. You know, I'm not really seeing any major differences between the two. They kind of get at the same thing. Uh, they both provide the areas for me to input the specific information and experience that I have, as well as the uh, company details. And, and like I mentioned earlier, you can always get much more detailed with your prompts to get exactly what you're wanting. But as far as cover letters go, I'll say it's a tie. For code generation, I'm gonna ask them both to write the code for a snake game in Python. So the prompt says, please write all of the code for a closed loop snake game in Python that has no errors when ran in the terminal. To be quite frank, I don't know really anything about Python. I have a little bit of coding experience and that's kind of what makes this fun is I'm hoping that these chatbots can just write all the Python code for me and help me work through all of the errors. Gemini finished first. I'm gonna copy this code for Gemini and I'm gonna paste it into my VS code editor. I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna run it over here in the terminal. I'm gonna type in Python three and the name of the file, which is snake underscore game underscore Gemini.py and see what happens. Okay, and doesn't look like anything happened there. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over to Gemini and say nothing happened when I ran the file in the terminal. Looks like chat GPT just finished. I'm gonna copy this code from chat GPT and put it into this code ed editor. I'm gonna save the file and I'm gonna run this in the terminal. Type in Python three snake underscore game underscore GPT dot PY, press enter. All right, and it looks like chat GPT actually did something here. So cool. 
And there we go. We have a little snake game. That's honestly really cool. Like I mentioned, I don't know anything about Python. I know how to code in JavaScript and React, Next.js, but I've never used Python before. And it's really cool that I could just ask the chatbot to generate a game in Python, and it did it. Let's see if I can win. Ah, all right, cool. And let's see if Gemini can redeem itself. So it says, make sure that pip is installed, bash Python snake game. So that's not the name of my file, so I'm not gonna be running that code right there. Uh, it says Python print starting game loop, check if it reaches the main loop. Okay, at the end of the day, all I know is that I gave them both a single prompt and the chat GPT code is working. And there might just be one single line of code over here with Gemini that can easily be fixed if I was an experienced Python programmer, but I'm not. And again, all I know is that I was able to give a simple text prompt to ChatGPT and it provided the solution and Gemini didn't. I'm sure Gemini is great with Python, um, but as far as this case and my situation in this scenario, I'll give the win to ChatGPT. Next, we'll test them both on PDF analysis. And what I mean by this is simply just having them analyze a PDF and provide a summary of the PDF. And to do that with Gemini, we can reference Google Drive. You're not able to upload a file except for an image with Gemini just yet, but you can reference other Google apps such as Google Docs and Google Drive. So that's what I'll do right now. And I'll say, uh, please summarize uh, this PDF and provide five key insights. And then I have the name of the PDF right here. The Future of Work Report 2023 by Microsoft. And with ChatGPT, I need to actually upload the file and I'm gonna say the same thing. Please summarize this PDF and provide five key insights. Over here with Gemini, we have the five key insights. LLMs can boost productivity for information workers. They can help with complex tasks, can improve collaboration, uh, the need for human AI collaboration, and addressing the challenges of AI. And over here with ChatGPT, it says productivity and information, uh, critical thinking, it's about the same as complex task, and human AI collaboration, all right, it looks like we got an error with ChatGPT. I'm not sure what happened here. It was going so well. And I'm gonna go ahead and click regenerate and see what it comes up with. But overall, it seemed like they were both providing fairly similar answers. And this is a 40 page PDF document. So there's quite a bit of information there for the chatbots to look through. Overall, they seem to be providing relatively the same responses in general. And talks about productivity again and using Copilot for Microsoft 365 effective AI collaboration and insight. And it finishes by saying the report underscores the transformative potential of LLMs across work practices, advocating for a balanced approach to leveraging AI capabilities. I would say it's a tie between both of these. It wasn't a very complex task. However, it's an everyday use case that I know a lot of people are using uh, to have the chatbots analyze documents. So I'm gonna go and call it a tie. Uh, they both provided relatively the same responses for this 40 page PDF document. All right, and for the last test, we're gonna do image interpretation. And if you're wondering why you would want to do this, the main reason is for creating a prompt for mid journey. If there's an image that I want to create a similar image of, I'll upload them to the chatbot and have them describe it. That way I can use that as a starting place for a prompt. So right now I'm gonna say, describe this image. And it's a BMW driving through the Swiss mountain. I'm gonna do this for chat GPT as well. And over here in Gemini, it says, the image you sent is of a gray BMW driving on a winding mountain road with lush green scenery on both sides and clear blue skies above. The car appears to be a BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe, a four-door luxury coupe. And over here is ChatGPT. It says, there's a gray luxury car which appears to be a model from BMW based on the distinctive kidney grille design. The car is positioned on a winding road and it doesn't seem to be mentioning the model of the car. I'm going to upload another image. This one is of Jabba from Star Wars. Describe this image and I'll do the same over here for ChatGPT. Now, I will say that one issue that I ran into recently with Gemini is that it was very reluctant to describe images and I'm very curious if it's going to describe this one. Um, the image you sent me shows a close up of a statue of Jabba the Hutt, a fictional character from the Star Wars franchise. Okay, so it's actually describing it. Last time I uploaded a similar image, uh, Gemini didn't want to describe it. I think it assumed it was something bad and it just didn't want to mess with it. This is another example of how I can definitely see 
advances in Gemini over the past couple of days, because just a few days ago, I was really struggling to have it uh, describe images. Here we go with ChatGPT. Uh, over here, it says, this image features a large slug-like creature with a wide, flat nose and deep set of eyes, which is a character from a popular science fiction franchise. And it doesn't mention Star Wars. It just says a popular uh, science fiction franchise. We're going to upload one more image. This is another one that I was having issues with. And this is an image of a mushroom. Describe this image. Do the same over here for Gemini. And ChatGPT is saying the image shows a close up of two mushrooms in their natural environment. The larger mushroom is in the foreground with its cap turned slightly upwards. Over here with Gemini, it says the image you sent shows two mushrooms growing out of the ground on a log. Uh, the mushrooms are relatively small with brown caps. While I cannot definitively identify the species of mushroom in the image, uh, several possibilities include. So I'm very surprised right now. Honestly, I was very much expecting Gemini to lose this. To be honest with you, I'm happier with Gemini's answers right now. So I'll say that Gemini won for image interpretation. I'm not gonna lie, when I started this video, I knew that ChatGPT was gonna win. After all the tests I've been running over the past several days, I was much, much, much happier with ChatGPT. It seemed to always be giving me more of the results that I was actually wanting. It seemed to be giving me uh, the answers that were actually helpful. However, it just goes to show how fast they're updating all this technology. I really do think that they've been doing real-time updates on Gemini based on user feedback because I did honest test with both of these chatbots in this video today, and the results are clear. Uh, for example, image generation, Gemini one, text generation, that was a tie, code generation, chat GPT one, PDF analysis was a tie, and image interpretation, Gemini one. So Gemini won the majority of those, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to call Gemini the winner right now. I, I didn't wanna do that when I started this video, but this is an honest review and those are the results that I got. I'll probably continue using ChatGPT for now just because I've been using it for a while and I have been happier with the results recently. Everything that I went over today was kind of new results for me. So I'm gonna to have to reassess my opinion over the upcoming weeks and just see how Gemini evolves. So for right now, I wanna continue using ChatGPT, but that might be different in the very near future. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.